Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, today we're gonna to be talking about, are you an expat ATM machine? In a lot of cases, I mean, I just got, well, let me just start from the beginning here. I, I received a, a comment the other day about a guy, and I believe he said he, he, his family had hit him up for over $100,000 in US dollars, I, I believe it was. It could have been pesos, but I believe it, even in pesos, it was still a lot of money. Um, not a ton, but it was, it was still a lot of money. And it, it, I'm not sure over the time period it was or anything like that, but what I wanted to do is talk about today with, with this here subject, because a lot of expats come over here and they just become ATM machines for people. <laughs> and they get used really bad. And then they complain after. And it's really kind of your fault. You know, you have to learn to say the word no. That's the first two, the first, first word that you should learn is no when you come to the Philippines. You you just have to say it. And also, guys, when you have a girlfriend here in the Philippines, you kind of have to put your foot down as to how far out you're gonna go with helping people. If you even want to help people at all, maybe you don't. If if you get in a relationship and you're gonna get serious with the girl and you're gonna get married or have a long-term relationship, you need to tell the girl, you know, where you have the cutoff. And if it's her immediate family, then it's her immediate family. You know, just tell her, say, you know, and sometimes they'll, these people, there are people out there that will lie to you, you know, and say, hey, it's my mom's sick, ba ba ba, or whatever. And I'm not saying all, all Filipinos are like this. I'm just saying there are people out there like this, okay? So don't get me wrong, because I'm not painting with a broad brush here, okay? And just saying everybody is the same, because they're not, okay? Most Filipinos are good, decent people. But what I'm trying to say here is that some people, some Filipinos will lie to you and they'll tell you, you know, my mom's sick, she needs to go to the doctors when it might be the cousin or something like that. So you gotta be careful, you know, but I mean, I'm lucky. I don't have that happen to me. Um, I help people that I want to help. You know, I, when I, if I love somebody in the family and, and you know, they've helped me out before, most of the times you'll get a lot of that love back in other ways. They'll help you when you need help or something like that. Um, but you don't want to be a money machine because they'll just look at you as a money machine. You might as well tape, a, you know, write ATM across your head or have it tattooed there. Um, you know, I recommend to most people just say, look, I'll help you, help you out a little bit with your immediate family, but I'm not going to give you large sums of money. And I'm not going to give you thousands. Uh, I, I might give you a hundred or whatever, but it's not going to be every day that this is going to be happening or every month or maybe once or twice a year or something at the most. And just put your foot down because remember, these people are come, coming from poverty, a lot of them, and not all of them. You know, I mean, sometimes you get lucky and you find a decent woman that's got a college education and she works or whatever over here. And she's, she's probably not going to ask you for money because she can take care of her own family or whatever, you know. And that's why I tell people sometimes when you get involved with these really poor families you're really asking for it you know and I'm not saying that you know it's not okay to get involved with a, a woman that comes from the province who's really poor I'm just telling you you have to put your foot down from the beginning because and if, if the younger you go the more likely they are to cry and make your life difficult if somebody in their family gets sick they're gonna cry and say oh we really need to help my aunt or we really need to help my you know so and so you know you have to know where to draw the line you know and you really you really have to be hardcore about that and if, if the girl says she's gonna leave you then she leaves you know I mean that's her loss because because you're helping her out and if she has kids and you're helping her kids out I mean you're not you're not there to be a, a ATM for the whole family and this guy that wrote in the comment section he 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 was telling me that basically the whole family would be coming to look look for money they would come to him for money. And that's terrible to feel like that, that the only reason they love you or want to be around you is is because you're an you're a ATM machine for the family, you know? And the only time they want to see you is when they want money. And if that's the way it is, it's not a good feeling because it's not a feeling of love. It's a feeling of, yeah, I'm gonna use you until you know I'm done with you. And you know I hope you stick around longer because we still have to use you for more money, you know? I would get out of that situation really quick if I was, you know, if I was the ATM machine, you know? But I mean, I just want to talk about this because 
a lot of guys come over here and what they do is they spoil the family from the beginning and that's a big mistake you need to really stop that nip it in the bud from the very beginning and set guidelines as to the way you feel about how much you're going to give out set set you know set those lines with your girlfriend immediately draw those lines quickly you know this is this is the way it's going to be honey you know i'm gonna i'll help help out you and your two kids and that's it you know maybe once in a while i'll help out your your mom or your dad or your sisters or your brothers or something like that on occasion with a little bit of money if they're poor or something like that but really they should be looking out for themselves because they're older and i'm not i'm not their keeper you know because otherwise what's going to happen is they're just gonna you're gonna go broke especially for you guys that are on low budgets or things like that i feel bad for some of you guys that are on low budgets that have started that that tradition from the beginning because some of you guys are trying to impress these young girls that are, some of you guys out there that are 60 or 70 or whatever whatever age you are and you're trying to impress these girls that are younger that you're with hoping that they'll stick around or whatever and you let them use you as an atm and if you have to do that to keep a girl around she's really not worth keeping around you know i want a girl that loves me and takes care of me and I'll take care of her and if she has kids I'll take care of her kids but you know I I, I put the line down in, in that you know as far as the rest of her family goes yeah I'll help them out once in a while I'll do this and that and I do help her family a little bit but you know like whenever I want to stop I'm free to stop you know and if that's the way it is if you know I don't think that they'd hate me for that or anything like that I just tell them yeah I'll help you for a while or whatever you know until you get a job or whatever you know like you have to you have to you know have certain guidelines with these people you really need to have those parameters put up and just say okay this is the fence you know once you jump over that fence and you keep asking me again i'm stopping totally you know i'll help you out once or twice a year you keep on hounding me about it or hinting about it because some of these people i have people that i help out here and and one person in particular and she, I give her 500 a month. It's, 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 I'm not gonna say who it is, okay? And she hounds me for it, hounds me. And I'm actually thinking about stopping it. You know, I think it's time to put a stop to it. And I think it might be, you know, when people do that to you, you're, you're, you're nothing but a money machine. And you need to let these people know that you don't do that to people, you know? And I've told this lady probably I don't know how many times, probably about 10, 20 times that I don't like being treated like that, but she continues and continues and continues to do it. So at the beginning of the year, I think I'm gonna put a stop to it, you know, and that's the way I deal with it. You know, and I know she needs the money, but it's not my responsibility and nor do I wanna get hounded for it, you know? And some months I'm a little bit tight with money myself because I like to save I like to do things and if I don't have the money I, I don't want to give it to her because it's not I don't have to give it to her you know and you guys all need to realize when you're helping families it's it's like feeding squirrels and I hate to put it that way this way but it's like feeding squirrels if you feed the squirrels every day the squirrels are gonna come back looking for more nuts you know if you give them nuts every day they're gonna come back every day and if you stop feeding them they get mad you know they're gonna keep coming back looking for it but it's not there and you know that's that's the way it is it, and i'm not just referring to filipino people like that. i'm referring to anybody it could be a, a relatives in the united states like that too so i mean when i say that i'm not trying to say Fil all filipino people like that because they're not it's just certain people there's certain people just get they get addicted to that money and it's like it's like a money train you know and they just they they, they give me give me give me give me give me and that's why i, I say it's best to learn to say no, you know, from the beginning. Put your foot down at the beginning. Stop it in the beginning. Set the guidelines with your girlfriend from the very beginning. And don't be a human ATM machine in the Philippines. You don't want to be an expat ATM machine. And, and it's a terrible feeling when, the, when people tr just, ask, just love you because you're handing them cash every day. You know, it's, it's not a good feeling, okay? And... Most of my relationships here, I'll help people out when I wanna help them out and I get more 
a much better relationship from people that way. Okay, because like if I see somebody needs something, I'll help them out and call them and say, hey, you need, you need a couple bucks or something? Do you need some help? Sometimes they say no, you know, or do you need some food or anything? You know, like they'll say, sometimes they'll say no. And other people, they'll show up at your door and ask for it, you know? So that's why I say, be careful guys, you know, watch out. Don't be a, don't be a expat ATM. You know, you just don't want to even step down that road and learn to say no, 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 no. Can I borrow, can I borrow a thousand pesos, Steve? No, you know, you got to learn to say that. You know, you'll know who you want to help. Get to know the people that you're going to help before you even hand them a dollar. Don't be, don't be handing out money from the minute you get here just to get people to love you. If they don't love you for who you are without the money, and they won't love you when you give them money either. It's as easy as that. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care and be sure to like and subscribe, guys.